Hello everybody, my name is Katemo and welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series on the last video. It's been a while, boys, I know, but in the last video we were contemplating on whether to trade Veleno or Rasmussen because we've got one too many centers. Uh, we can't play one of them in the fourth line, it would mess up uh, one of the players. We want them both to grow, so either either one of these two needs to be traded needs to play in another team so that he can actually grow if they don't want to play if they don't want to play in that eventual team that's not my problem that's going to be theirs but i don't want to have that problem where i get to screw up a player's potential so i don't want to do that so we have the option between veleno and rasmussen uh, one is 81 one is 80 they're both top six uh, three, uh, three, four, the score liner, I guess. No, he's a checker, Valeno. Now the difference, I by playing a lot of franchise recently, I came up with the idea that the the difference between someone that actually produces in the lineup is whether he has poise or not, boys. So he needs to have poise. Now, the one that has the most uh, poise right now is Rasmussen with eighty-five. And even though Veleno is really good with the discipline at 95, he's got a little bit more offensive and defensive awareness than Rasmussen does. But I feel like Rasmussen's poise gets him, it gets him higher in terms of production. It gets him, he's a better player overall than Veleno is. Uh, Veleno was drafted in the first round, so was Rasmussen. So. I want to keep Rasmussen, boys. I want to keep Rasmussen. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of Veleno. We're going to get rid of him in exchange for a fourth liner, of course. So that he, uh, a fourth liner can, can play in our lineup, of, uh, our centerman lineup. Now, of course, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so, yeah, I bring up... I did a mistake last time, too. I check out uh, the uh, poise as well. And Ferk is much... It's just much better overall. Why, why is it doing that? Why can't I look at him, uh, his stats and everything? Okay. The uh, Ferk in poise wise is way better than the prospect I was, I moved up boys. So we're just going to move up uh, Ferk right here. He's going to be uh, on the fourth line. So this is what it's going to look like. Rasmus is going to be playing in the third line. We're just going to go really quick, do a trade. See we can, who we can get for the fourth line boys. All right, boys. I might have found the trade we were looking for here. It's not exactly uh, a fourth liner, it's a third liner, but he can play in the fourth line. It's David uh, Krejci, of course, you already know him. Uh, with a first round pick, I'm going to try to pick up the first round pick as well. In exchange for three, uh, two third rounds from this year and the other year before uh, afterwards. And Veleno, I know it's a little bit too much to give him three, uh, two third rounds, but... I need to make sure that the game, uh, the trade does come true, and also, uh, it's not, it's probably not going to come in true anyways if I don't do that. Uh, so I can't trade any lower than that. So Veleno, I know I'm probably losing right away. Right away, I'm losing for sure the trade. Um, I'm probably losing big time, boys. I'm not sure, but it's not a good trade for me. But I need. Like I need my team to win. I don't want to. I don't want Valeno to suffer uh, because of probably bad a bad year or something. I might as well just play another third liner, but third liner that can like play lower. That's uh, not gonna p grow in potential anymore. All right. So David Krejci can't play in the fourth line. He's a top nine anyways in potential. He's starting to move down. So we can play him on the fourth line he's very good as you can see he's got some poise right here 85 boys pretty good for his 81 overall so it's gonna balance well boys it's gonna be a good player for us overall with the first round i pick as well i feel like it's gonna be really good for us so let's try it out let's try the trade it it worked out so really good let's do this boys let's put him up on the lineup uh we got uh, our sediment let's put him up there we go. Of course, our def forward is going to be Grenlin this year. So let's just go back to the lineups and everything. Uh, of course, I'm sad to have got it rid of, uh, I guess, Valeno. I didn't want to get rid of him. Now, 
it's just the way it is boys now this is a playmaker so i went ahead and uh is, a, is the right uh thing already uh, one other things i like to do now is change their potential or change their player type of my players whether they they play as a two-way or f snipers like if the player plays as a sniper i'm gonna change him as a sniper you know uh, i'm not gonna try it i'm not gonna do it right now uh, we're gonna see first how the team goes don't want to mess anything up so i think we're good i think we're good to go boys assign scout let me just make sure that everything's good here everything's moved up yeah every everybody's ready okay so we're good boys let's start this up i don't want to mess or wait any longer we've waited a, a longer enough uh, long enough so let's just sim to the preseason game the first preseason game we're gonna start the simulation boys hopefully everything's gonna be fine man i'm i'm excited to see how our team goes this year uh three bad years i think we had a tr three years so far of simulation and nothing good happened R literally nothing good happened we got one of the out of these two years that we made the playoffs and we got swept in the first round or something so we really need to bounce back now we got the prospects we got the elites in the ahl they are getting ready we got our even our franchise medium franchise goaltender that is getting ready slowly but surely in two or three years uh, now from now he's going to be ready boys he's going to be ready to be in the nhl and he's going to tear it up so we just need to tear it up right now give us a chance to make it to the playoffs at least like play like you're playing in the preseason right now we got no losses so far we're probably gonna get a loss eventually no we got we didn't lose any single we won every single game in preseason boys that's the type of season i want to get uh that's the type of season i'm looking for here boys so let's hope it's gonna go that way i'm not entirely sure it's gonna go that way boys but we can only hope we got Henry Aker in there, which he had a disappointing first year. A second year was better. I'm hoping that this third year was uh, will be a good one. So let's just, I'm going to go quickly look at the scouts, boys. Just make sure that everybody is good. I don't need to move up anybody or modify anything. Nope, or we're good. Let's just start the simulation up, boys. I don't want to waste any time. I want to do this right away. Uh, I'm going to do slower videos now, uh, s just because basically we've got two series now, so that I'm finished with Assassin's Creed, we got Red Dead and this, so we can take our time with this series, we can uh, s make it slow, take it slow, make sure that we got the right prospects, the right things done, so 30 minute videos again boys, let's see what we got, so 2, 4, five, uh, 6, eight and ten the tenth game is right here so we're gonna go all the way to the second game against dallas in the 30th the last day of october uh, one of the last days of october is basically before halloween right before halloween boys we won our we win our first game boys in shout out with a shout out of three and zero. Oh. so that's really good for our goaltender another shout out so we haven't got in four periods in eight periods boys we didn't give a single goal now we did lose by in shootout so there we go and we win in shootout that's the type of season i'm looking for it's i'm not sure if it's going to be consistent boys but if we can win even if it's in shootout boys it doesn't matter we get the two points if we lose in shootout it doesn't matter too much because we get the one point at least i want to get as much points as possible now five oh and one so far after six games is beautiful that's exactly the beginning i wanted to get you have to get a strong beginning in october and november you guys already know that how much it's important for the nhl so we got to do this and the grand rapids are doing great as well you can see four a uh, five and oh even they're undefeated so far the grand rapids over the ahl so that's really gonna help out our uh prospects as well we're doing right all right we're doing fine boys we're doing beautiful right now i feel like da the david krejci uh, trade actually turned out great for us because now instead of having a prospect we have a veteran in the for playing in the fourth line and it's uh helping us tremendously 
All right, a veteran of a third line veteran that should be playing on the third line. He's playing on the fourth line, so he's staring it up. He's helping our fourth liners. So I'm feeling like this is what's going on. And we we got three losses, but those three losses were all in shootouts. So we didn't lose a single point out of all the games we played, boys. We got at least a minimum one point out of all, all these games. Now, not, we don't have a point per game player, but Ecker is still at eight, uh, eight uh, points in 10 games. So it's good. He's going to move up, boys, in points eventually. Um, I guess we're good. Let me check out the players, how much they're doing uh, together, I guess. Let me look at the lineups, boys. See uh, why we're doing so good. What's the difference, basically? What did I change? So first line, of course, is doing great. Third, second line is doing great as well. So let me look at the first line, the way they're producing, basically. So Panarin's doing basically both. Uh, Akers doing the passes. And Menta is, well, he's a power forward, so he's keeping, uh, he's protecting the two players. So I'm feeling like Panarin's like, yeah, he's going to be the one scoring. Zvechnikov, now he's the scorer. We've got the passer in Larkin, and we've got Eberle, which is basically a two-way forward right now. And Ernie, he's, uh, he's playing great. He's got, a, he's a passer, he's an assist man. Uh, Rasmussen is the scorer, so Rasmussen is a scorer, boys. And we've got, I guess, uh, Connor Brown, which is a two-way forward, so he does the job. There we go, we got a, a really good combination right here, boys. Every lineup is doing fine right now. Of course, it's only normal, 7 and 0 and 3. It's only normal, all the lineups are, are good. Cogliano, uh, yeah, we've got a veteran team in a veteran lineup for the fourth line, which is really good, boys. Uh, Hamilton and Petriangelo looks like they're doing really good together. They're really uh, contemplating a self. They're really going playing well together, I guess. Chulowski is playing with um, Brent, Ben Houghton. Both are doing fine together as well. And Sari Jarvi coming up. Uh, I think it's his first year in the NHL. No, it's actually he played like four games uh, last year. But only four games. This is officially his first year. And he's playing with a, a deaf a veteran, basically, in uh, Bafelgun. So really good, boys. We're doing great. Who's our goaltender again? I'm forgetting everything. Burbaski. I always forget we got Burbaski in the net, boys. Uh, he's actually playing like... He's actually playing his uh, best season of, the, of his career, boys. Look at this. Look at that save percentage. And that goal against average. He's giving less than one goal per game in his 9.65 percentage. This goalie, Brabowski, is playing ridiculous right now. Uh, we need that. We needed that, boys. Let me look at the scouts. I'll, uh, we'll start simulating again. I'm done with the scouts. Let's go ahead and do the second simulation of this video, boys. Second so uh, set of simulations. So, two, four. Uh, 6, 8, and 10 after the uh, Allers game, I guess, all the way up to the New York Rangers uh, New York Rangers game, boys. Let's see how it's going to go for the 10th other game. So all the way up to the after 20 games, basically. Let's see how it goes. We got our first ever loss in regulation against Dallas. The second game against Dallas. We bounce back up with a win, a 5-2 win. This is what makes the difference. This year, we're not try we're not actually giving too many goals, boys. And because we're not giving goals, we're we have a good forward line that can score a lot of goals, boys, or score a decent amount of goals. If we just can keep the puck out of the net, we can manage to get those wins, and that's what's happening basically. And with Burbaski out of his mind right now, playing his best see his best time of his career, basically, he. It's, it's going just well for us. It's going the best way we could uh, possibly imagine. So there's another shout out right there. We only got two losses so far. It's uh, two losses in regulation though. So not a fan of that. But we're going to work with it, boys. We're going to work with it. We have to. If uh, if we need to look. If we want to look at it um, the right way. Okay, so Sari Jarvi is injured. This is not good. This is not going to help our simulation. I hope. 
he plays well. I, I hope Ronek plays well, boys. I do hope so. Um, with Bafogun because I really need my team to, to keep the simulation going. I can't have uh, anybody right now injured for no reason, all right? Now, who's that uh, that was injured? I think he's fine. It's just a minor injury. Oh, okay, we're good. So let's see how I didn't see how long it was gone for. Hopefully it's not for that long because we were really doing well for the second simulation as well. We're still tearing it up. So it doesn't hurt too much for Ronek uh, to be there. Uh, he's still a really good... Ronek's a good player, boys. He's a good death uh, prospect right now. So I feel like he's doing fine with um, Buffalo Gun. He's going to help him out as well. Playing with him. A veteran like that. We did get three losses so far. Actually, four losses. So it's kind of a five and four, I believe. Let's look at our, our, our staff. Our record is... 6-3 and 1. Okay, yeah. We got 4 losses. We still got 6 wins though. So still a really great record. Uh, 4 losses. All of these 4 were 3 regulation losses. So we started to we lose a little bit more. But if we can just keep it the way it is. I don't care if my team doesn't produce. Like my individual stats for my players are not there. I don't really care. Because as long as I win... That's the most important part. I want my team to win. I want my team to have success at this point. They should have success, boys. That's the most important part of it all. So, let's see what we got in the uh, lineups wise. After 20 games, basically, this team is tearing it up. Uh, anything that we need to look at. The, the second uh, line is really doing really well. Eberle, of course, is our best player right now, somehow. I don't know how that's even happening. Ronek, how much? How good does he? He's actually playing pretty good with Buffalgun. He's a two-way, so he's playing another with another two-way, so it's doing fine. Um, Sorry, Jarvis. It looks like he's gonna be out for a while, boys. That's not good. I wanted to wanted him to grow, to pr to really pr perfect himself, but I guess it's not gonna happen. I'm going to look at the scouts really quick, boys. Just give me a few seconds. Let's start right up with the third simulation, boys. Third month of simulation. Or third sequence, if you want to call it like that. We're not going to stop until we're play, starting to play a little bit bad or starting to fall off, boys. Or if, Which is not... It doesn't look like it's happening right now. It, it looks fine by me. We do, we do have seven losses, boys. Well, that's a thing. But four of these seven losses are in in overtime or shootout, which means that we got these points. Uh, we got these really great points. And what did I say? Great November and October mo October month means it's gonna help out tremendously for the rest of the season, boys. So two, four, six, eight, and ten after the Panthers game, basically. So all the way up to the Islanders game. In the next month, month of December, kind of in the middle as well. So let's see how we, we start off. Okay, so uh, sorry, Jarvi is back, boys. So let's get him back. But we start off with a six nothing win, boys, uh, against the pe against uh, I don't know again Rangers. I guess the Rangers, which is really good. That's two games in a row now, uh, where we get a shout out. If you count uh, the four last games before the Islanders won. It was three out of four games that we got a shout out. Brabowski is really playing crazy. Another shout out for Brabowski, boys. He's getting shout outs out of crazy. He might get like the 20 uh, shout outs or something this year. He's he's doing crazy. He's playing crazy right now. I can't believe we're finally getting what we needed to get, boys. Uh, I was expecting that type of simulation uh, the moment we got uh, Ecker was expecting him to tear it up as a 99 overall. He did not do the job, boys. And he's still not doing it. He's not having a great year. He's kind of a disappointment for someone who is 99 everywhere, boys. You would think he would play really good. He's not playing that good. Uh, he's not playing like he should be playing. But uh, he's compensating well with the rest of his two lineups, his two teammates. So he's playing with, uh, he's playing well with his two teammates. He's got great gay chemistry with them. He's just not producing somehow. 
and that's I don't know maybe he needs somebody better than these two in order to produce Pimpol is injured that's okay now Griffins our RHL team started to fall off though they started great if you if you remember they started with uh, like a 6 and 7 to 0 oh, win streak or something like they started they started pretty strong but now they're falling off uh, a little bit we are still not falling off on our side though we're still winning more games than we're losing so it's doing it we're doing really good and actually there's their goal that what would i say boys Edgar eventually will go back up with his points he will start producing he's a He's kind of a, like a patcherity when you think about it, but a more consistent patcherity. Like he's gonna in the beginning of the year, the season, he's not gonna produce that much. It's towards the middle and it's the end of the season that he's gonna start producing like crazy and it's gonna help him out. I feel like he's that type of player, boys. So 20 games uh, won, uh, won already, 20 uh, wins, boys, and that's for good for 44 uh, points, which is. The, set, the third best team in the league. We're the third best team in the league, boys. We're doing great. 7-3 and three record for our third simulation. Uh, we're doing great, boys. I just need to look at the scouts. And after I'm done with that, we're going for the simulation again. I'm ready for the third simulation, boys. Let's start this shit. I'm ready. Uh, 2, 4, 6, uh, 8, and 10 after... Basically all the way up to the Calgary Flames game. Let's see how after 40 games, how, uh, after half of the season done, what's going to be our record, boys? It's going to be a great one. And nonetheless, because we started great for three simulations in a row. Uh, I don't want to make any trades. I don't want to do anything to hurt my team, boys. I don't care. I never care too much about the AHL team. That's one thing, though, boys. Uh, I know it's important for the prospects to grow, but... Uh, all I'm caring about for the prospects to grow is play them the, in the position they're supposed to be playing. If uh, if it's a low lead, uh, don't play him on, unless he is a minor scored fi uh, like a, a minor player. If it's a medium elite you have, uh, or medium like potential, it, it, if you have to sign him right away. You have to sign him right away. Otherwise, it's not going to grow up, uh, the right way. So that's how it works basically. Low potentials, you want to make them play in their position. Elite, you want to play them uh, at the beginning, the medium. You want to play them uh, exactly where they're supposed to, like, not exactly, but e either exactly or like a little bit higher than they're supposed to. So there's somebody that's uh, good again, it's Pumpol. So I imagine he was on the first line, boys. Stewart was replacing him, didn't, was not doing a fine job at it. So let's get back Pumpol in there. Let's get Pumpol back. There we go. So we do have, I think, I believe, a couple of losses since then. Uh, Buffalo Gun is injured, so we're going to have to get a Ronek in there to replace him. That's okay. Uh, we did get a, a three, we, we do get three wins in a row now. So we're doing fine. If, uh, we did get like. It's because I saw two losses in a row now. In regulation, that was not too good. But we bounced back up with four, uh, three uh, wins in a row. Uh, did we win against the Rangers? We're going to see in a minute, boys. No, we lost. So two losses in regulation in a row again. Not so good of a, of a, a simulation right now. So we're starting to fall off just a little bit, boys. Starting to fall off. This is not too good for us. We're not going to panic just yet, but it, it's not a good thing either. Okay, so Buffalgun, we're going to have to keep a Ronek in there, boys. Why? Because Buffalgun is now a top two. So Buffalgun, you're going to stay as a def. He's going to be our def forward a defenseman. We cannot be playing him anymore in the top six. He's not good enough, boys. Not good enough. He, fa he fell off. He's uh he, he's grew, he's grew, getting older and older and now he's not that good for us. Bartley is injured. We're gonna replace him. No, nope. decline trade. Okay, so all the way after 40 games, half of the season done, done, boys. We basically have a record of 26, 10, and 4, which is pretty good, pretty decent. We finished up uh, the fourth one, assimilation, with 6 and 4, which is still a good 
really good boys so 64 for them 55 7 or the four, fourth best team basically four for six or five uh, fifth best team because we're kind of tied up with um toronto there we fell off a little bit with these four losses in regulation didn't help us too much but it's okay boys we're still doing great still doing great it's definitely an assist man Ecker, that's for sure he just needs someone to be sh uh, like a uh, scoring with him uh, uh, he needs a, uh, a big time scorer with him which i don't think he has on his lineup let me check really quick check all the lineups are going after half of a uh, season done boys he does have a score in itself panarin is kind of a two-way forward when you think about it boys the way he's playing he's playing like a two-way forward yeah he's definitely playing yeah he's definitely a two-way forward panarin so he's not a scorer he's not a sniper in itself and as of Menta, he's, he's a power forward, so he's not going to be... Yeah, that's why Eker is having a difficult time. Otherwise, if he had a, a really actual great score, a sniper like Ovechkin or something, he would be doing great. Uh, he's struggling with the points just because he's got a two-way forward and a power forward with him, which is not helping him. It's not helping him at all, but it's, it's okay. The Svechnikov... Playing with, uh, of course, Larkin and Eberle. This team, this uh, lineup is doing fine. If you think about it, we've got uh, Krejci, which is still a third liner. He uh, is starting to fall off. He, he was at 81 when we went for him. He's at 80 now, but that's okay. He's not doing so great. But he's playing on the fourth line. And we've got a first liner in Eberle, which is playing in the third line. Uh, second line, boys. This is, uh, this is it, boys. You want to get... You want to get a really great team get veterans in in them in there get veterans that uh if you have a, a free space go well, free agents take a, a first liner that you know he, he doesn't he, he won't grow anymore so you can actually play him in the second or you can play him lower you know and that's going to help out your team eventually third liner is doing great fourth line looks like the fourth line is struggling so it's the fourth line that's struggling boys uh, Mar uh, Martin Furk, of course, is, is a death four. He should be playing in the fourth line all year long. So the East struggling a little bit, and Cogliano is a two way, and Krejci is an assist man. So I don't know. Krejci doesn't have a score in itself. I, I guess uh, is a oh actually no. Furk is a scorer. It looks like he's a well this year he's a sniper, but. Like, he doesn't have the shooting percentage of a sniper. I don't know, boys. It's kind of weird. Uh, Petriangelo wise I want to make sure everybody's fine. Yeah, Runic's actually doing pretty fine. I'm going to keep it out of the way it is. I'm going to look to see if we don't have another death defenseman maybe in uh, to replace Buffalo Gun. Maybe if we can put Buffalo Gun up in the AHL instead because right now it looks like it's going to hurt him if he stays down, uh, stays there or something. It's gonna hurt our team more than more than anything. Uh, Zablocki is still a deaf forward. Yeah, he's still a deaf forward. Uh, what about these players right here? They're they're doing fine. Finn now Finn shouldn't be playing there, but that's because Bartley. Yeah, Bartley is injured. Okay, that's why. Uh, Lampney. So there's one of our elites right there, boys. A low elites. So he actually, I signed him. I shouldn't have. I should not have signed him. He's a low elite, so he's he's there. He's playing. He should not be playing. Pedersen is another low elite. So two who are low elites that sh that shouldn't be playing in our team, boys, but are playing. It's all right. It is what it is, I guess. And what about our goaltender right now? We do have Kate Pitt, which is a starter. He's he's doing well. He's doing a uh, 67. He's doing well. But I'm looking at the medium franchise. He's a, he's a minor now. He's a minor backup goaltender. So that's really good. He's getting it there, boys. 20 years of age. Uh, nine victories. So he's kind of struggling in the AHL. But the team he's got in front of him, it's, not, it's kind of difficult for him to do anything. But he's, uh, he's growing, boys. And that's all that matters to me is that he grows. Let me just see if we can't get well, we don't have anybody in the AHL, I just saw it, so we might try to do a trade here, boys, just to get a depth 
defenseman or maybe look at the free agents maybe we can get someone out of the free agents we got plenty of space so let me just look right here do we have anybody anybody at all that would be good for the free agents doesn't look like it so we're gonna have to keep him yeah we're gonna have to keep him well i don't know i don't want to make any trades the per se so uh did i just do the scouts i think i just no i didn't do the scouts uh this time around so let me just do the scouts again boys we're gonna continue the mission afterwards okay let's do this boys Let's go ahead and just do the sec the, the last simulation. It's gonna be the last simulation of this uh, of this uh, video, boys. The rest of the season we're gonna stop it. All right. The rest of the season we're just basically gonna do it um, for, I guess, the next video. All right. Keep it a surprise, I guess. So two, four, six, eight, and ten. So all the way up to the Blue Jackets game in february 5th of february boys see how the month of january goes so an entire almost an entire month of simulation right here boys let's see how it goes hopefully it's gonna go well um really hoping that we uh, continue to go well boys i didn't change any lineups i didn't do anything so we should be doing fine just like we already were doing i really am happy right now about my simulation uh this year so this season is going to be a great one i'm really happy about that another player has been injured god damn ahl is struggling right now it's actually going back there back up even though he's got some injuries uh Ronek got a minor injury so that's okay can be back up uh, bartley is back so i need to get him back to now the injuries are starting to pop off a lot boys but finn you're getting in there bartley is back Oh, Bartley was already... Oh, they were playing Bartley because of uh, the whole situation. What's going on here? Okay. Well, Finn, you're going to play there, I guess. I don't know what's going on. So, the Ashton is... Uh, okay, so who are they playing? Why? Why was he like... I don't get it, boys. I don't get it. Anyways, let's just go back up. I don't get it for the AHL right now. I don't understand anything. All right, so let's continue. We got three. So, so far, we got uh, what it looks like. Two lo uh, two wins, three uh, three losses. So, two, two, and uh, no, two, one, and two, basically, our record after five games. We got uh, uh, to start winning a little bit more goals, though, uh, games, though, just to, just to put me back in confidence. There we go. We got a, a win. We got another... Sh shootout loss looks like a shootout we're not doing well at all in shootout i might actually switch that up then if we're not because it looks like we're all always losing in shootout boys um so maybe i should i should mod probably uh modify this okay so finn you're gonna get replaced by ashton i guess right yeah he's a top 4d man um, Bartley, you're an actual medium elite. I didn't even notice that. You're, you're medium elite. We got an, we got three elites in there, boys. Low elite, medium elite. We got another low elite right here. God damn, we got so many prospects for the defense wise. It's all a bunch of prospects, boys, young players. Let me uh, make sure that everybody is playing with uh, who they're supposed to be playing. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good, boys. Let's continue the simulation. We got another win. So two wins in a row. After three losses basically in a row, we got two wins uh, just to bounce back up. Three wins in a row. Yes, there we go. That, that's what I wanted to see. Just to bounce back up, boys. Get our record back back up. Back straight up. Okay. I don't want to trade anything. I don't want to make any trades for my first liner. Especially not my first liners, boys. That's not going to happen. Come on now. All right. So uh, are we going to win? No, we lose in shootout again. So, so many losses in shootout, boys. It's not even in overtime. It's all a bunch of losses in shootout. Um, uh, so, you know, already know where, what kind of changes we're going to make. It's for the shootout. We're going to switch our players for the shootout because we're not scoring. We're not producing. We're losing all of our games in shootouts. So, we're going to have to switch it up for that. 
and maybe we're gonna get a little bit more wins boys now we started to we were trail off a little bit because we got five one and four so this is our worst record this year which when you look at that that means it's a really pretty good year boys we got four losses but four losses in a shootout so we need to the shootout is really the biggest problem right now i'm going to switch my line up boys for the next video i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'm going to see you guys for this one and uh, for the next one remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video keep it easy boys